One of the general rules of coding, whether it be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or any programming language, any coding language, one of the general rules is to not repeat your code. That's the, uh, that's the goal. And the reason you don't want to repeat code is that it saves space, it saves mistakes, and it just keeps your code cleaner. We'll learn more about that as we get into the course, but just keep that in mind. You want to try to not have the same code over and over again. So let's look at this basic page here. Now I've modified the page from the previous lesson and I just simplified it because I want to just, I want to make teaching CSS easier. I want to make it easy for you to understand. So we have our, we have our heading at the top and our two paragraphs, right? Pretty simple. Here's our heading and our two paragraphs, paragraph one, paragraph two. And of course the heading has the ID of top H applied to it. And my paragraphs have the classes of super P applied to it. And here in our CSS code, here's the class super P, the declaration block, and here's the ID top H. So, oh, oh yeah. We also have our tag selectors, the H1 tag selector and the paragraph tag selector. And of course, our declaration blocks that go along with them. Now, here's something that's a little bit interesting. You may have noticed. You notice how we have CSS for this ID here, which is the H1 tag, ID top H. But we also have CSS here, which is using the H1 tag selector. So this CSS rule and this CSS rule both apply to the H1 tag in our page. And it's interesting because if you look at this CSS rule, it sets the color of the text to black, whereas this CSS rule sets the color of the text in our header to green. So let's open in browser. So you see the CSS rule that wins is the top H, the ID, where I set the color of the text to black and it's not green. That's interesting. We're going to get into a lot more detail about this later on in the course, but essentially there are rules in CSS that tell the web browser which CSS rule wins when you have a situation like this where you have two sets of CSS rules that apply to the same tag and they conflict, right? Because this CSS rule is saying, turn the color of the text green. And this CSS rule is saying, turn the color of the text black, even, you know, so which one wins? Well, we saw in this case, the one that won was this CSS rule, the ID. And uh, this is all part of something called the CSS cascade. Remember the name of CSS is cascading style sheets. Well, cascading has to do with this. It has to do with the rules of which CSS tag selectors, excuse me, the rules of which CSS selector wins. So we had a conflict, competition between the tag selector H1 versus the ID selector top H. And we've learned that top H won. And I'll tell you, I'll give you a sneak peek because I cover this fully in another course. Top H wins because an ID selector is considered more important than an H1 selector. That's one of the reasons it wins. But uh, keep that in mind. So that's the introduction to the cascade in CSS. And a cascade in CSS is all about which selectors. It could be a tag selector. It could be an ID selector. It could be a class selectors. And there's other selectors. Which selector wins in a situation where you have a conflict? A conflict, for instance, where I said here, make the text green. And in here I said, no, 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 no. We're going to make the text black. So there you go. I know this is getting pretty deep down into nerd details, but understanding this stuff, it will make your life easier because a lot of times when you're building pages and you're, you're going, why isn't this text black or why isn't this text green? And if you don't understand these nerdy details, you won't understand that the reason the text isn't green in your H1, even though you set it to green here, well, as you know, because ID selectors beat H1 selectors. Anyway, we'll learn more about this later on.